Hi everyone, today is day 24 and today I'm going to talk about problems. Problems not only I will be facing but a lot of Asian girls. A lot of Asian girls would be probably facing. I don't know if the European people face this. More like anyone from the Indian Peninsula. So they are from India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Afghanistan, the Middle East, whoever you are, maybe Sri Lanka, I don't know. But if you are any of those origin, you probably, there might be some girl there, even though she doesn't have internet, she doesn't have anything, I'm pretty sure. Stat says there is. I mean, girls can't get education and all that stuff, so, you know. My problem is valid in that sense. My dad was a good dad. You know, my dad, he made me study, he made me get education, and he made me all that stuff when my mom, on the other hand, wanted me to get married. So, I was happy with that. However, my dad didn't allow me to study what I wanted to study, which was, I mean, that itself is already like, oh, it's a plus point because, oh, uh, I'm letting her study, even though that is supposed to be a basic necessity. But uh, you know what? I am giving you as a luxury. That is first thing. Second thing, um, they wanted to get me married off at what, 18? Um, but that is also a luxury because I had uh, people in my village who was getting married off when they were 16 and I was 13 so three years older and they were getting married and I was like I will never be that kind of person and I was strong cold on that but regardless my dad was also not that kind of person but he did consider that as a luxury for me because he was a good dad even though that is a basic need a basic way to bring up someone right i left my house in october last year it's been five months five months i've been out of my house and here's what i've learned i've always been feeling lonely depressed social anxiety selective mutism where did all these problems come from? Where did it all come from? And then um, everyone had someone. Everyone had family, or like family meaning their friends, uh, sorry, not their friends, their parents. If not, they had uh, parents or relatives, right? Parents or relatives. Uh, if not, they had their siblings. They were very close with their siblings and they always talk about certain things with their siblings. If not, they had friends. They had friends that they see every day, every month, whatever, whatever. And then, if not, they had a community that they go every week, like church or madrasa or whatever it is, they go like that. So, any one of this would have helped me. So, parents or relatives, what happened then? My parent, um, let me tell you what happened on Sunday. So I never told my parents I dated anyone or anything. My dad has always thought that I am, um, I just am not interested in guys. So he has always had that thought. And then I told him, yes, I was in a relationship, but I broke up and everything. And he immediately said, I don't believe you. I don't think you're capable of that kind of relationship. That's why we have to give you arranged marriage. I'm like, sorry? Sorry? You don't believe I had a relationship. And um, you know my mom, when I told her I, I was in a relationship, the first thing she told me, and I told her that I broke up with him, my mom was like, what did you do? What did you do wrong? And I was like, I didn't do anything wrong. I mean, I may have done a lot of things wrong, but then the thing was, it was not necessarily all my fault. You don't even know this guy. Parents, 
They didn't give me anything that I wanted to do. They didn't have relatives that they wanted to be with. Um, they didn't bring up a community. We all stayed by ourselves. What about your sibling? Were you just born by yourself? No, no, no. I had a, a brother who was five years older than me. So what's with him? He's married. Yeah, he's in a great job. But has he ever helped me in life? Huh. No. What he has ever done is uh, verbally abuse me or physically abuse me. And then regardless of whatever he does, my parents will be like, you know, it was your fault. It was my fault. Everything is my fault. Even though he did the abusing, he did everything. And he'll be like, I'm sorry. But like, the thing is, he's not sorry. He's not sorry about any of the shit. Thirdly, friends. Sadly, because of my curfews and, I don't know, just circumstance, I lost friends. I, a girl that I thought was my best friend, because I treated her friends wrongly. And she wouldn't even explain what I did wrong. It didn't matter how many years I was with her. She knew all my problems. And I just came out of my house. You know what? It's okay. Because of her, I have lost trust in everyone. So thank you. And... Um, Will I ever trust anyone as much? Maybe not. Maybe not. Fourth is community. If you don't have any of this, how the fuck are you going to have community? Huh? <laughs> you're, you're not going to get any of that. <laughs> so, that is my problem. That was my problem. I didn't have any of it. And that's why I'm feeling alone. I'm feeling depressed. But in the next video, I'm going to say what the fuck I'm going to do about it because this is not just a pity fest for myself. This is something where I'm going to do shit about it and I'm going to do some accountability in these videos as well. And with that, I will say part one has ended. <laughs>